Give them to me. 21. Okay. Wow. It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. Right, <laughs> we're, doing these, um, we're doing these quarterly now. If that. Well, I'm looking at the date on this, and it's exactly three months since we last did okay. this. Oh, Christina's telling me, just wait a sec for the heater to turn off. It'll turn off in like 30 seconds. Uh, not that I especially think it, think it matters. Like anyone's going to be like, the sound quality on this one was very poor. <laughs> and people can be picky about the weirdest things. Well, yeah, I suppose. It's more the content that I'd be worried about. <laughs> I, 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 our audience naturally expects the finest. The you finest. wouldn't want to disappoint. It's super prepared. I was going to say as well, uh, we haven't done a fan art episode since. Do you know when the last time we did it was? Uh, I want to say 2018, 2019. 2021. Two years ago. One year ago. Oh, really? Wait, so no, so, so this would be the third one then, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That's oh right. man, yeah, I forgot about that one. Damn, that's that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm missing all of these. I seem to remember yep. there's a great one with uh, with Carlton the last time we did this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I've got to I've got to get all these again. Yeah, as I've said uh, before, uh, I will put them up on my website one day when I could be not, but when I get around to it, when time allows. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to Sam's house allows. <laughs> when motivation allows. When bothered can be uh, finish that sentence. <laughs> when motivation allows. <laughs> there, there. Um, welcome to Sam's Hosen Twenty One. Like you said, Damien, the first Sam's Hosen we've done in a bit. Yeah. So. Today we're doing fan art, which is especially funny, seeing as uh, we barely make these anymore, so what's the fan art about? But uh, a lot of these were sent in like 2021, 2022, so there we go. Uh, thanks everyone for sending us this fan art. Do you want to, should we just jump right into it and I'll send you the first one? Please do. I'm waiting with bated breath. Yeah, as I said to Damien, I've seen, I want to say some or maybe most of these, but I can't really remember... I've got every, I've got it all uh, basically alphabetically. So I guess we'll start with Amy, Amy Coleman, who I'm now going to send Amy Coleman one to you. Tell me when you get it. Okay, <laughs> you know I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking God. Okay, is it going to play notes of your dying brain? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that thing from okay. Magic Roundabout, someone's dick? <laughs> that's not Magic Roundabout, that's um, uh, from um, Play Days, that's Wipert. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Someone drew Wipert. Now, I'm curious okay. about this. Um, so, this is obviously a, a, a two-sided spread here. Um, was this designed yeah, this is, it, this, this with, is with a DVD the, case in mind? <laughs> <laughs> this is the cover of our book. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm gonna try and turn so, this upside so down because I want to see what's on that bottle. Can you... Yeah. <laughs> what Pence is on that bottle? Police. I think it's hip tang. Hence, <laughs> police. <laughs> I, yeah. Well, well done, Amy. I especially love the detail you put into Why Bird. Um, I'd love... Love to know where she's hanging from, uh, <laughs> like a bat hanging from like, I'm someone's sure it's arm just, or you something. Know, it's a rubber toy that's just been impaled. That's it's not like stupid. Yeah. Yeah. It's... <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Do you remember Russell's obsession with Y Bird? We've mentioned it before, which is maybe why uh, <laughs> yeah, Amy drew Y Bird. Up on here. Yes. Um, I mean, no. A lot of things have uh, vanished. Uh, <laughs> have just escaped my memory. When I think of Russell, I always think of uh, him. I don't think he did have an obsession. I think it's just that we would equate him with uh, McDonald's as a uh, grimace all the time. And oh yes, he did look a bit up, like I grimace. Think he had a thing about grimace. Grimace and also Snuffleupagus. He looked a bit like. 
fucked off a laugh again. Yeah, a little bit, but I, I think the, the 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 very long eyelashes. <laughs> he had very yeah. beautiful feminine eye, eyelashes for sure. <laughs> very beautiful eyelashes. Very um, beautiful. One thing I can say about him. The Positive. thing with there. Uh, so I guess the thing with Whitebird, unless they're, you know, quoting something else, some other shit we said, uh, he. When we were at school, he penetrated a Facebook group of people who hate Whitebird. And then he would just constantly <laughs> argue with them about why Whitebird was the tits. <laughs> Man, that guy had his moments. <laughs> yes. But he wouldn't... How did, we, how did you know about this? Because he wasn't the guy to broadcast this. Unless you were, already, you were like admin of the group and like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> Blowing up my fucking shit. Hey, don't blow my cover like that. Um, yeah, I, well, I don't know. You, you know, occasionally I'd sit, he'd allow me to sit next to him, and I'd look over his shoulder like, "What the hell are you doing?" Um, do you remember when I? Do you remember when I hacked his celeb deck account? Celeb. Do you remember celeb deck? I have no idea what that is. No. It's a uh, it's a thing that the BBC used to do, uh, where they would essentially have um, kind of like a game of. Nasdaq stock exchange, but with celebrities, and their stock would go up or down depending on column inches they would receive in newspapers. Right. Okay. And I remember get, at school got, getting really into it, and like one week I was in the top hundred. Like, man, if this was real, I'd, I'd made eighty grand. <laughs> but I remember getting, <laughs> getting into his celeb deck account to uh, like buy, buy, you know, like a hundred grand's worth of Jaleel White. Um, and I, the reason I got in was because his his password um, clue was sausage question mark. So oh, I just yes, wrote sausage yes. and got in. I remember that. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> and bought loads of dud shares. <laughs> oh man. Well. Bravo, um, Amy Coleman and bravo, Russell. <laughs> yes. Thanks very much, Amy. That was uh, brilliant. I especially like the uh, stack of, the reverse stack of books. That's exactly how I stack my, stack my books. And I assume also there's a flush, the bucket, flush bucket behind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, a true fan. Very good. I especially love the font on Pants Police. So much effort. Yeah. That's nice. It's very nice. nice. Polish. All right. <laughs> Polish. All right. The next one's from Con Connor Stell, who, um, okay. who is the maker of the banner on the sound on the SoundCloud. Right. Uh, I don't know if you remember that. Very good. So let's have a look. So You're already okay. giggling. Yes, I, re I remember this one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you really ca really captured my <laughs> disgusting mouth and face there. Thank you for that. You got my fucking laugh right. <laughs> do, 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 do. You come out you come out better than me from that. <laughs> yeah, you're you you're wanking. <laughs> <Yes>. Safety pants. <laughs> oh man. Oh well <laughs> this yeah. This is going to be the highlight of my month. <laughs> <laughs> well, Damien has never looked that happy in his entire life. <laughs> I look like that right now. <laughs> <laughs> I look that saucy all the time. Yeah. The only thing I know about safety dance is I think Justin Trudeau's sister was in the video or something. Oh, okay. Is that even interesting? Who cares? Oh, wow. Yes, I especially love the teeth. <laughs> 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 it's yeah. like I want to eat your skin. Yeah. If if someone bought me that outfit and wanted me to recreate that, you know, at no expense to me, I totally would. Oh god! <laughs> I I really don't have anything to say about this. It's it's, it's practically it's brilliant. perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what um? What was the guy's name? You said Connor Connor Stell. Connor Stell. Connor yeah. Stell. Connor. St I am sorry. I don't know how to pronounce. Anything, Connor. Connor, S T E L L E. Okay. Well, I don't know, maybe that could be stay, stay, stay. An excellent, excellent, excellent job. Tell me he sent more. 
this guy's <laughs> no no that's his only one this time but okay, you know that's... we'll we you know geniuses can only do so much <laughs> <laughs> um okay what are you holding by the way oh it's a flush bucket, flush bucket. Right. i think we're going to see quite a few flush buckets <laughs> that is a massive flush bucket that's like a like the flush bucket you use for like a large dog <laughs> well there are large dogs in that house and they'd have they have some leavings for sure <laughs> okay the next one is elliot mccann <laughs> oh <no. laughs> that's really good <laughs> concerned for the future has your Ethiopia become self-aware <laughs> by the punishment? It's better when you say it out loud. <laughs> George Rockle Schmidt, guaranteed 100% beans free, proudly made in the Pakistan. I think uh, guaranteed 100% beans free should be my mantra from now on. It's, yeah, it's almost racist. <sighs> Yeah, uh, I don't know what you've done to my face, but uh, I, like, I like that. That is... That's scary. <laughs> ghastly. Yes, scary. I'm scared of me there. <laughs> Concerned for the future. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's... It, this is a political poster, right? This is... Oh, yeah, that's, of, that looks like yeah. Pro that's propaganda for sure. <laughs> yes. I have been worried about my Ethiopia <laughs> becoming self-aware. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> For why the punishment? <laughs> Thank you, Eliot. <laughs> Sorry, just okay. And breathe and breathe. All right, I'll send the next one through. Josh Dixon. Um, all right, Josh Dixon. Josh Dixon one. He sent us five. This is the first one. <laughs> Uh, yes. Yeah, that's that's some serious style right there. That's some serious style right there. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he's, I think he's drawn me as a cross between, um, em, what is it, uh, Emperor Ming? Ming the Merciless. And like, I would Ming say the like Merciless. Of Manhattan or something. <laughs> a cross between Ming the Merciless and um, um, How to Get Ahead. In marketing, <laughs> with, I mean, he's captured where, that kind of old, that kind of retro aesthetic perfectly. I love that. That that's really good. I so I, I look like Mickey the Merciless, and then you look, look like, like Riker. Zod. <laughs> you it could be Zod, yeah. And then Christina looks like she's like an Olympic javelin thrower, or something. Mm. Okay, yeah. Three stern there. look. Got, got our <laughs> nose and mouth really good there. Yes. Yeah, I, I think as well as well looking at the eyes, it's almost like that is what I would look like if I was from Chechnya. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can see. I can perhaps see what you're talking about there. I want to know what's coming out of your brain there. <laughs> are you being pelted with Thinking. something or are you just inflicting? <laughs> It does I'm actually look to... like I'm receiving the ray, doesn't <laughs> yeah, it? it? Does. Yeah, and that's why we're growing out the side of your head. <laughs> yes, um, but on the other hand, it could be it could be like a uh, a completely white hairstyle, kind of like uh, Gerald from. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I, I'm I'm taking a a seat back and squinting my eyes. It looks like a sort of top hat for, on, at a jaunty angle. <laughs> yes, it does. Like frayed yeah. rim. <laughs> And then the, the back, which looks like it could be the moon, that could also just be my hairstyle at the back. <laughs> the powdered like I've, wig. I've got an afro, but not at the not the front half of my head, which is completely shaved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As we said before, like this, there's some frightening talent going into this. Yeah. They they put more <laughs> effort into this than we do into the shows, for sure. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's not saying much, though, is it? <laughs> Well, good. I, I don't want to say I pity them, but I mean, good for them. What's good for them, yeah. Josh Dixon, too. Oh, right, okay, sorry. It's kind of dinged. <laughs> didn't realise what was going on here. Hang on. Sorry. 
<laughs> just let that one breathe for a minute. <laughs> oh. the, the, the color palette is brilliant. <laughs> it's like vivid fuchsia, and then like pale pink, and then shit brown. <laughs> it really <And> tells. <laughs> it tells. The, the, yeah, it's, it really does tell the digest, digestive story. <laughs> at the at the bottom is a picture of. Uh, what looks like a, a chunky Mongolian man. <laughs> and who, I want to believe that's might Brian Blessed when I first saw yes. that. Is it solid? Is it liquid? It wobbles on a plate. That is my dream. That is my nightmare. <laughs> yeah, um, which is obviously even better than the, the Apocalypse Now quote <laughs> that it's uh, <laughs> referencing. Uh, life on a razor blade. Okay, it, it wobbles. <laughs> oh man! That, I mean, yeah, that and those safety pants are kind of front runners so far. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm tearing up. Um, is it solid? Is it liquid? It wobbles on a plate. Could be the uh, the like tagline of this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Something delicious about the word wobbles. <laughs> Collie wobbles. I like the little uh, stuff badge on the uh, on the deerstalker there. Nice little detail there. Oh yes, I didn't even notice that. The stuff. <laughs> How's the food? <laughs> is that the same one as? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Like my friends call me Mo, yeah, Mo because money. I always want <laughs> Mo money. Yes. Oh, I mean, you haven't watched right. that in the last two years? Good lord, man. <laughs> no, I'm waiting for you. <laughs> Same with Woody Woodpecker. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is uh, Jurisdiction 3. Jurisdiction again, again, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, he he was very flattering in that first depiction of me, but gives with one hand and takes with the other. <laughs> oh no, I, I I think it's ironic because in the in the way he's drawn you, you, you I don't say that face is harrowing. It, my face is pretty harrowing. But you, you kind of look like a like a Christopher, like Christopher Walken, Walken if he was yeah. A, yeah if he was an anaconda like sizing you up. <laughs> I, I want to know what I'm giving those eyes to. Fuck it hell. I'm about to eat a person. Yes, you've seen a possibly a, a tasty pile of cold rice. <laughs> mm. Swallow all that. I mean, he seems to kind of play with a lot of different styles here. He's, this guy's obviously got uh, he's got range. I like this. We've got a polymath on our hands. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, that, yes. I mean, I don't think that the way he's drawn your face is harrowing, but it's definitely, it's, it's definitely, it's Just something. a mention of harrowing face. <laughs> <laughs> the idea of the, the George Rock show is, I don't talk at all. I'm just sat in front of a camera You're looking just creepy while you talk ad nauseum. Yeah, I talk ad nauseum, but I'm never actually featured. <laughs> I just get slowly closer to the, uh, towards the camera. It's a real art just to do that over several hours. <laughs> oh, it's not and a then, zoom. Yeah, um, no, I'm, t I'm pacing very slowly. Yep. And then his fourth one is uh, a <laughs> similar thing, but uh, colorized, <laughs> modernized with color. Yep. I like Feature featuring the, the crested, crested pigeon of a man. <laughs> <laughs> the sad old cat of a man. <laughs> Why is that the next one? No, I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure yeah. he like workshop these uh, subtitles for quite. I'm, he'll have dozens of them. Yeah, he, yeah. I mean, surely a team. Um, well, now as well with his colouring um, of it, you almost look like a Malaysian man or something. <laughs> it looks. It doesn't look like I have slick back hair anymore. It looks like I've got a great big ponytail. Just obscured. 
by the headphones. It looks... Uh, yeah, slick, slick back hair is just a big ponytail without the ponytail. Like. <laughs> Christopher Walken always had a big ponytail. He just tucked it into his shirt collar. <laughs> I try to, th yeah, it, it's reminding me of something and I can't, I can't put my finger on what. Damn, it's going to bug me. I'll get back to that later. Toilets that don't work. Oh, yes, I remember this. This travesty this drawn by Sean Dixon. Oh, I remember Check that, out that one. one. Yeah. Yes, you see that one. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that in a long time. <laughs> sort of like, if, if my... <laughs> It's, a, it's like a perspective thing, like my chin is much closer to the viewer than my, <laughs> my head is. Oh, you've got like a two inch underbite. <laughs> it's almost like the tagline to this one should be, George Rockle Schmidt is the first contributor to The Guardian who has encephalitis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like I've got a, a baby head. Oh man, and like a really thick neck. And a very oh, ostentatious man. collar. Fresh out of the 70s. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm rocking that look. <laughs> the only thing missing is a nice heavy medallion. <laughs> yeah, or a body, I suppose. <laughs> yes. Have you got the next one? Uh, it's up. I haven't booted up yet. And. Okay, you can just explain what's going on with this one. This is from Josh Smith. Um, I'm pretty sure this is Tommy Wiseau in a beautiful silk dress. Um, I, that's as best as I could do either. I've been looking at it for the entire time you've been in the bathroom, and I'm like, hmm, hmm. Did you, did you do that, Josh, or did you just take a picture of that on your phone at 47%? But don't worry about that, because uh, the next one uh, he, said, he sent is a blinder. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Because he, he has quite a, um, a catalogue already. It's pretty strong. <laughs> this is Josh um, Smith, okay. by the way, not Josh Dixon. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Are you ready for this? I'm okay. apparently so. Because okay, uh, I saw this, this, this. This made me, like, split my pants. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 well, um, you said this was Josh Smith. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're the fucking man. <laughs> I mean, you're a cunt, but you're the fucking man. <laughs> so it's it's a screenshot from The Simpsons, the Simpsons episode where Homer builds Homerland or whatever it is in his backyard. <laughs> It's Mill Millhouse crawling out of Fort Adventure made out of mattresses, but with Damien's face on him. <laughs> and Damien as Millhouse is saying, Dad, you have to do something about these mattresses. And your dad as Homer <laughs> is saying, no, I don't. And it is your dad, isn't it? I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good representation. How many have we talked about like my dad's appearance? Um, I, I, I thought some people said like, oh, I've worked out who it is. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, they, yeah, they might have done. I wasn't, I've been paying attention to that, but they've kind of got it down. <laughs> yes. I mean, I mean, sunglasses and a very pristine goatee. I mean, it, it's... <laughs> yes, yeah, the, you've, you've covered, not only that, but like... You've covered the bases. Yeah, go on. Yeah, I mean, Damien said obviously isn't fat, but uh, like looking at it, like he does stand like that with his hands on his hips like that and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'd have his he'd, he'd have his leg, his feet further apart, and kind of... yeah, going oh, absolutely, and yeah, you know, good like acting power talent. <laughs> <laughs> I I like as well that even though they've obviously just had to work with a screenshot of you uh, at like three sixty pixels, they they've managed to communicate the anguish on your face really well. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know that, I know what he's smelling right there, for sure. There's a lot of p dog piss in Fort Adventure. Uh, yeah, it, not only in it, but like in the walls of it. <laughs> <laughs> they would have those things. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> do, do, do you still have those mattresses? Oh, of course. I mean, I haven't been there in a while. Um, 
but yeah. yeah. I thought you said you got rid of them, but maybe that was wishful thinking. No, he will. <laughs> if I went back, I, I didn't see them, you know, piled in the hallway. They would have been funneled off into some other room. If I check, if I didn't see them in the other rooms, then they would probably just be in the fucking garden or something like that. No, no, no. My, he, he doesn't take care of stuff like that. He may probably be like you must get rid of these mattresses, but then all he does is move them to yeah. a different room. Yeah. I suspect at this point it's like, well, this one's too is too sodden and dog piss. He'll have to buy a new one. This is why they keep piling up. They probably those mattresses have probably had babies since they've last been there. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Little piss springs. All right, now uh, the next one, Josh Smith, Josh Smith three. I've named it. Uh, this is interesting because a lot of people. Uh, think that we don't do as many Sans Hosens as we did because uh, there's less enticing spacey news. So, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's basically, well, it's, it is Kevin Spacey <laughs> as the murderer in M. <laughs> the child killer in M. Um... Which a very oh, gleeful man. murderer in, as well. He's about to discover the M, and <laughs> yes, I mean I think we all know the implications of what Josh Smith might be saying here. <laughs> uh, He's a dirty, you remember how, dirty man. How that film ends? Um, oh man, you know we're we're almost at the point now with AI where you could probably feed M into an AI and get Kevin Spacey over. Um, What's his name? Don't Crystal Plummer. <laughs> Crystal Plummer, what? No, I, I, you know, what was um, one of... It was one of uh, Christopher Plummer and Kevin Spacey's last movies. Um, I can't remember what it was called. But it was just as the allegations came out, Spacey filmed Oh, yes! It, and then they just went back and they edited him out and reshot re a lot of stuff with Christopher Plummer instead. Like, if you could get Christopher Plummer, why would you use Kevin Spacey? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who's the actor I'm thinking of? Peter Laurie, that's it. Mm. Um, oh. Love it. Yeah? Yep. I also, I also really like that his head is clearly too big <laughs> for his hat. So it's, it, it's almost like, like the hat must be, like, clamping his brain. <laughs> Oh, for sure. And it's like, that's a titanium band around that. He's been growing yeah. into this hat for years. Yeah. He's, he's more hat than man now. <laughs> All right, let's see what the next one is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what point did you talk about one of those uh, Katamari balls? Katamari with balls <laughs> with dogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it takes on a macabre twist because it's more like a puppy king. Like they're all stuck together, like a rat king. They're all stuck together with <laughs> dirt and stuff, just <laughs> rolling down, rolling down this street in New York, <laughs> until it eventually like starts picking up buildings and taxi cabs and things <laughs> like that. I like these. He's sort of cherry picked, uh, obviously the most adorable pictures of these Labrador yes. pups. <laughs> Yeah. I'd like to oh, see a cute. sad puppy in there, but I haven't spotted one yet. The the one, um, the one on, well, I don't know how to say it. The the one, the, the puppy one. That one looks sad. They all look sad. <laughs> they're, they're sad to be in this horrible and godly mess. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, very very good. All right, uh, Josh Smith Smith Five sending you this way. <laughs> so it's, it needs again, more it's dog. A, yes. Well, it's this a, guy is yeah, eagle, eagle-eared then. Um, bravo. Uh, it's another. It's another screenshot of. The Simpsons, uh, the again, I can't remember which episode, but um, the the part where Bart thinks of where his dog is, and they're uh, what are they doing? Shoveling dogs into the furnace yeah, to yeah, keep yeah. A, a keep a steamship going or a ferry going. <laughs> I guess is that Tommy Wiseau? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tommy Wiseau, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, okay, so maybe maybe the other one was Tommy Wiseau. In which case, I guess we've just worked out that your dad looks like Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> yeah, because I honestly go to it's a pretty good approximation. It's a pretty good approximation. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, Tommy Wiseau. I mean, obviously, you know the uh, Johnny Johnny Depp as Captain Jack Sparrow. I mean, they did look almost identical for a bit. Yeah. Kind of like uh, what else? Keanu, maybe. I think that's doing him too much. Kind Saying of. Your dad I mean, looks he's, bit... he's got long dark hair and a beard. Go to that's, that's the that's how I would describe Keanu if you said it. Yeah. What sort of what sort of nose does Keanu Reeves have? I'd have to be like. Uh, normal nose. You think Keanu's got like I a find people's face faces very like, hard to describe. Hmm? Do you know? Yeah. What were you, you were about to say something. I said um, I find people's faces very hard to describe unless they've got. Like, unless very, they look like someone feature. else, it, that then it becomes easy. Yeah. They just kind of look like a thing, a hot dog. You know what I mean? He's got that kind of hot dog face. Ah, I know yeah. exactly what you mean. Is it? Um, Fargo, where people are trying to describe Steve Buscemi's character to the police, and they're like, "Why? Well, you know, he looked he looked weird. It's a okay, funny weird looking. how? You know, just funny looking. Yeah. Anyway, yes, <laughs> well done. Needs more dog. <laughs> aye, aye. Okay, we've got a, we've got the sequel to that. <laughs> oh. You He's done it. <laughs> <laughs> he's done ya. <laughs> oh, he's done me up like a kipper. <laughs> Is that two Santa's helpers I see there? <laughs> ah, well, I mean, I love the implication of that first one. Um, and that would have been, for me, perfect as it was. But, <laughs> well, what a setup. Ah, floored by that one. <laughs> I mean, that that Simpsons little skit would would have actually been even funnier if the guy was smiling like that. <laughs> well, so the two sc screenshots with a lot of care and attention there. <laughs> I quite like that. <laughs> um, yeah. So this is obviously taking me and shoveling dogs into the furnace. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what appears to be a cat back there that's no good they don't have the octane <laughs> brilliant absolutely brilliant I mean that yeah, face superb yeah totally. alright Josh Smith 7 you like this one too <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's He's done a strip, okay. Yes, he's done I a like strip. <laughs> Oi, Damien, shovel on more dogs. <laughs> Cat says more dog. <laughs> more dog. Very good. All right, and this is the last one from Josh. What am I looking at? Oh, God. Juanito <laughs> <laughs> <you> Cinco. <laughs> Take that crap out. <laughs> I'm hoping I get to see a Johnny Five adorned with human flesh at some point in this evening. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Johnny, Johnny Five with his posse. What do you think of? <laughs> Horn swaggle. Brilliant. Thank you very much for that, Josh. Yeah, thank you. All right, next we've got Konstantin Georgiev. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a historical photo of a Red Army soldier in, I assume, Berlin. <laughs> it's standing next to C-3PO. Who has and a rifle it, sticking out of his ass. <laughs> by the looks of it. It's, it's, it's pretty, like, it's almost believable. <laughs> yeah, it really is. And C-3PO is, like, looking over this, like, like he's caused it. <laughs> like he's observing the destruction. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, I mean, if anything, C three PO he needs that guy because he can't lift his arms that high. Mm. That's he the only to do thing. The, uh, the, uh, the victory salute himself, but of course, he was bound. 
I, that's a good point. How do you know C-3PO is not a Nazi? He can't get his arm up further <laughs> oh, than God. 90% particular to do the salute. Yes. Yeah, it's it's food for thought, I suppose, somewhere on the internet. Yes. Welcome to Santos and 21. Today we're talking about what are C-3PO's political beliefs? <laughs> All right, so Constantine, this is the next one. Another historical. I like this historical. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. It's, it's but, dumb, I mean, but it's it's for sure. I mean, what's worth mentioning is that the picture, like the by itself of that sauce, it just looks like he's dancing anyway. It's, it's goofy it's, enough without C three PO. <laughs> yes, yes, he's picked. A, it's a goofy picture of, I guess, again, Red Army soldiers attacking or assaulting something and the the guy in shot is making like an ooh face <laughs> like a german shout to him like russia is shit ooh you didn't <laughs> uh, i really care uh, and attention that's got into really blending c3po into this is yeah yeah he didn't just really... make it black and white he, he matched the contrast but yeah he matched the grain the degradation it's nice yeah um, yes, that is brilliant. Would C three PO be at the front, or would he be part? Of, would he be like a barrier troop, uh, like shooting? Looks like shooting he's trying to flee the line. Fleeing. In fairness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. C three PO, known coward. <laughs> no, he's always scared. Brilliant. <laughs> but with the, the the strap of the rifle, let's see. He looks like C three PO is on a leash. <laughs> Yeah, so maybe that's well, you'd the, want that to... explains the soldier's face. He's just pulling him back in line. Yeah, ooh, C three. Well, like C three PO just can't wait to get in there and no, he's kill trying some to flee. Like, no, 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 no. We're we're off. You're doing it. Like a like a dog. Yeah, almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I see what you're saying. Um, I also love the idea as well that like it's 1942. The Russians have made an extraordinary extraordinary discovery, but beneath the sheets of ice near Komsomolets Island. A robot from the future. A battle what shall we machine. do with it? <laughs> it goes to unit 479. It's fight. <laughs> Brilliant. You know, I, I can be used to interpret any language. No, it fight. <laughs> it gun. Brilliant. It gun. See, R2-D2 R R R is the one you really want for that. All right, no, no one from Constant. <laughs> there's like 15 of these, aren't there? <laughs> no, there's, there's just one more. That's the best one yet. <laughs> That's the best one yet. That's the best one yet. It's a group of, again, I assume Russian soldiers in winter gear taking up positions behind a barricade with C-3PO like tapping one on the back. Yeah, tending to them. <laughs> it's, yeah, like tapping. Do you, do you need more ammunition, sir? <laughs> He's like a valet for the soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, saying that, though, I can't help but think it's almost like C-3PO got sucked through a time hole and doesn't really understand where he is. <laughs> Could you tell me where I am? Get down! Oh, dear. Oh, oh dear. Shall I... What was it? Shall I favour my master with a tender kiss? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bother. <laughs> Oh, God. That's brilliant. <laughs> you could almost try and sneak that into a history book. <laughs> because it's not its not immediately obvious that it is no. doctored. If you just, like, turn the page quickly, you just think that... Yeah. It'd be a, yeah. Um, you'd think that was, like, a naked soldier for a second. Someone that was... Well, yeah. Be, like an yeah, enemy so troop being humiliated or something. Or, like, uh, they've greased up this Russian commando because he's going to try and, like, slip through the sewer network or something. <laughs> yeah. Grease me, woman. <laughs> that is brilliant. Um, okay, and this is the last one from Constantin. <laughs> I want to know what's going on with the cod piece there. <laughs> That's not yeah, appropriate but, for those children. <laughs> <laughs> That's, 
That's not standard issue. <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> See the commissar right now. <laughs> uh, I can't be sure, but I think that this might be a photo from Stalingrad. Um, <laughs> Of a, a statue of children playing and like burning building, buildings in the background. And C-3PO has his hands in the air. <laughs> and he could be saying, oh, the humanity. He could also be saying something uh, just awful, I suppose. It looks like he's hollering to someone out of, out of, uh, out of frame. He's like, watch me eat these kids. <laughs> R2, R2, watch this. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, that is... Brilliant. And like, yeah, you're right. That, that cod piece is... When did he wear that? I don't know. That looks like that's from a different movie set. <laughs> Very good. Um, okay, so... All right, so next one is Leonard Leone. <laughs> Punch Trump Terrapin cunts. <laughs> wow. Man, it's like we've been drawn by Crumb. <laughs> Spacey boys are attacking the Chrysler building. Young man. Young man. <laughs> Can you read the second one? Uh, I can't read the second one. These, these something oh, I can read it. better fucking work, I'll tell you now. <laughs> these diamond bullets better fucking work, I'll tell you now. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, I got it now. <laughs> Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Don't I... punch terrapin cunts. <laughs> like, you, you look all right. Do you know what I look like? I look like the um, caricature of Frasier they put up in that restaurant that he doesn't like. <laughs> like a bit more sinister, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I also kind of look like a sinister version of Matthew Corbett. Do you know who that is? Matthew Corbett. 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 Yeah. Hang on, do, you remember, do you remember Sooty and Sweep? N I remember Sooty and Sweep, but not what you're talking about. He, me, he was the seconds. man who who did them. I mean, I've got the pictures up of the guy. I'm not seeing the resemblance, but okay. what you're well, talking about. Well, I haven't about. seen him in years, but... All right. One of them. I I'm not saying yeah, I look no. like him, just that, he, that, that picture right, reminded me of him. <laughs> Don't okay. punch terrapin cunts. I do like the uh, the 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 effort got in the effort that went into cunts there. He's got the uh, that uh, Ninja Turtles kind of like sinewy type face down. It's nice. Yeah, and and the belts as well. Lots of nice shading there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do like. The... I like when these people seem to like draw the line where they say that something is done. We've got, we got three colours in there, that's it. Everything else, black and white, nice, done. Oh, we, 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 have, we do have a different coloured version here. This is, yeah. <laughs> Without the hand. Yep. Yeah. It's another place right there. <laughs> Very good, and... All right, last one from Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> The bucket residence, flush peaking. Yep, that's a winner for sure. <laughs> that's, a winner. that's a winner. What's going on outside there? <laughs> I'm gonna have the bucket residence like scroll on my front door now. <laughs> so, if you're just listening to this, for uh, I can only apologise. Um, it's it's a person answering a phone, but they have a bucket instead of a head. <laughs> Not a bucket on their head, a bucket instead of a head. <laughs> and a corded phone as well. Like, yeah. yeah, attention to detail. I don't, I, need, I don't need to know why this was made. I'm just happy that it's been made. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I think it's obviously been made to disparage the youth of America. <laughs> um, that's brilliant. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, can I speak to Flush? I'm trying right, to so... see what's going on in the background of that one. Is, that, is, is he... At... Is this thing at a window or? Yeah, it's a window. Yeah, you just got people lounging at the club in the background there. Yeah, I don't. I don't think the background's that important. 
I just want to see if there are any careful details. I mean, to, to be honest, though, the, the person stood right next to the bucket, it almost looks like they're a, a centaur, but instead of having a horse's body, they have, just have, like, a extremely large chest of drawers. <laughs> yes, I see what you mean. <laughs> yeah, they're growing out of. It must be really... Hopefully that's on wheels or something. All right, you ready for the next one from Louis Phillips? Louis Phillips, Okay. <laughs> when George met Barry Austin and PM only on Channel 5. You won't believe <laughs> the guy's face. <laughs> He's so happy. Brilliant. Nice. Nice. Okay, Louis 2. Try not to look at him until you look at him. <laughs> you finally witting <Yeah. laughs> Oh my god. It, it's not John Merrick, is it? That's the elephant man. No, I'm trying the to remember guy, his name is, uh, as well. The auctioneer. The guy who... Yeah. No, not auctioneer. He was into horse racing. Was it horse racing? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Did he the not do some call like, it... roach, like anti roto stuff as well? Well, I don't know. I haven't followed his career that closely. I mean, he would just turn up. I mean, you did, when you saw him on TV, you would recognise that man. I never knew who he wow. was, but he had a very particular look. He definitely stood out. Yeah, let me find out his name. Um, what shall I type in do you, that, that will get his name up, do you think? Like, just horse racing hairy man? Yeah. Um, mutton chops. Uh, English horse racing pundit, I guess. Horse racing button chops pundit. John McCrick. It's the first thing that comes up. Yeah, not John Merrick. Yeah. All right. So this is Louis Phillips three. <laughs> well, no, we said this one before. <laughs> But yes. Yeah. <laughs> now, that's, now that was three chefs. This is four chefs. Oh, is it? <laughs> this is the sequel. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get a bit of Hugh Fernley Whittingston in there. Yeah, for sure. Well, I can't wait to see what he follows up follows that up with. Yeah. Next well, he's year. also sent us a little video of something like that. So, <laughs> but we're, we're yet to get to that. Check out this one. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? I was nowhere near that property than that day. <laughs> oh man, OJ Simpson innocent after all, and it's a picture of me in prison clothes, I, I suppose being escorted to my life sentence. <laughs> O.J. Simpson, innocent after all. Beautiful. Yeah. I mean, the face, yeah, yeah, captures it perfectly. That is what I would look like. like uh -huh. If I was wearing, like, platform shoes as well, all oh, those cops were really short. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the dude on there, on your on your right, could definitely, is, he looks pretty short. Maybe that's, like, 5'2". Maybe you're just much closer. He's, like... I'm, like, quickly walking away. Yeah, from them. exactly. Yeah. I mean, you know, they, they, they've got you now. You're trying, to, you're trying to achieve that, for sure. Well, yeah, and, I, and you, I, I'm under the impression that I can do that by just out-walking them. Yeah. You've got to be sly. You don't want to make it too obvious. You want to draw yeah. attention to yourself. This motherfucker's walking to Mexico. Oh, shit, he's going to ram us! <laughs> this is me accidentally kneeing a car. Ow! Brilliant. All right. Louis five. <laughs> I mean, that did actually happen. <laughs> that actually is what it looked like, pretty much. I didn't realize my arms were that long or my head was that small. <laughs> or your sausage was that girthy. <laughs> yeah, I remember with your um, hot dog costume, um, didn't we need to like put? <laughs> we stuffed the uh, like top of it with like newspaper because otherwise it just it would just become a hood <laughs> and not a sausage. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, well, that's what you get for cheaping out and getting the $40 costume. You <laughs> There's no way I paid that. It would have been like a tenner. Yeah. No, 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 I, no, no, no. I remember, Damien, you sprang for that. You Did I really? Like, no, yes, you did. It was like, like $40. Quid then. <laughs> because, because I remember I got the priest costume because it was like the cheapest thing I could get, which was $10. And, and you Russell, used the Russell, collar in the end. Russell um, um, came as a doctor, which was, oh, yes, which was yeah. good. It, he had the fake syringe thing. That was quite cool. I'm pretty sure that the only reason he did that, though, was because his, like, $200 sumo suit didn't turn up. <laughs> like fan-assisted sumo Yes, suit. it was one with a fan in it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the priest, the hot dog, and the sumo wrestler. And, of course, Skinny Boy, it's dressed skinny as boy. the Stay Puft, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. <laughs> yeah, with that really lovingly papier-mâché Stay Puft mask. Which, yeah, do you remember what happened to that? Yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> he fucking he vomited into it. He shunted hardcore in it and ruined it. And ruined it. And it was brilliant as well. Yeah. I looked, like I said, they dumped Papier Mashing this fucking thing up, had a model around a balloon. They made a lot of effort make building the hat for it as well. Painted yeah, yeah, it. the hat was. Yeah. It looks psychotic. But... Yes, it did. It's way more when you put it on and you can see the human eyes looking out of it. Yeah, yeah. It looked like a skin yeah. mask, you know? <laughs> it was just leather, leather face with a jaunty hat. That's what it was. Mm. Oh, okay. So this is similar to the other OJ one. <laughs> <laughs> Still better. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> you see he's gone so back. He, he didn't think his work was done. I, I think he's made some some real improvements there. <laughs> yes. It's the same same one as uh, before with O.J. Simpson innocent after all and me uh, looking like a prisoner. But we've got an inlay of O.J. Simpson saying, O.J., I'm chuffed. <laughs> like he's suddenly northern. Like, why, hey, man, I'm fucking chuffed at this. <laughs> Brilliant, OJ, I'm chuffed. <laughs> ne never found but they also though. put OJ's head on the body of a white man. <laughs> white woman? Woman? Oh, oh you mean... No, I mean, if you oh. look at the neck, I mean, if so she took, got a stock out of a... Uh, yeah, of a white guy. Oh, yes, I see what you're saying. Well, you're saying that, that they've missed the uh, attention to detail we've come to expect from Louis. <laughs> I don't know. It might be deliberate. Maybe he's trying to say something. I don't know. Okay. Um, all right. This is uh, Louis Phillips 7. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I mean, we've got... Oh, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. And Liberace. <laughs> and Liberace. As, one. <laughs> As Arnold Schwarzenegger and Liberace at the Oscars holding a pistol <laughs> in, in, in like the worst Batman Two Face <laughs> representation ever. Man, Liberace's hands are crazy looking. Yeah, they are. I mean, it's, it looks like he's got like stunted fingers on the right hand with the gun. Oh, oh, and he was just checking the mail. I wonder what inspired this. What did we say? <laughs> yeah, I can't remember, unfortunately. Well, don't worry, Louis sent us more. <laughs> we'll just move on. <laughs> <laughs> it's the part I was born to play, baby. George Ruckel Schmidt is Big Mac, the John McCrudick story. <laughs> Oh man, make that a thing. Man, man, make that a thing. Get get Scorsese on the phone and be like, yeah. <laughs> We've got the lead. Damien can play his wife, Bubby. <laughs> Big Mac. <laughs> Big Mac. <laughs> Which oh. I think it's funny as well because surely the John McCrudick story is he was a pundit. So you'd have to like put like put in the whole like a side plot with like a car chase in it and... 
<laughs> like this is bomb. A biopic for a rather obscure celebrity, Mark Commode. <laughs> Utterly bizarre the, empire. The, the four and a half, four and a half Mark Commode biopic. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you want to direct that? I, I'm reckon. I'm reckoning Sergio Le Sergio Leone might might not have the cultural understanding, which would make it hilarious. But then, is you know, what is there to understand with John McCrick? <laughs> I mean, it's got to be Gaspar Noé that's doing this. It's going to be Gaspar really fucking It's hyper, hyper violent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's it, it's more like an Equus story than anything else. <laughs> Br brilliant. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a tasty one for sure. All right, I'll send you the next one. All right. <laughs> Rated twelve. Mixed tide is head with feet. <laughs> <laughs> when little Rick Stein was born as a baby with only feet and a head, his parents thought he'd never get into chefing. But Rick Stein wasn't about to let his lack of arms, leg, arms, legs, or body <laughs> would he? So in that case, would he have his heart? Would it be like a fish, where the heart would be like kind of like where the throat is, or would he have like, like? In his left foot, he has his heart, and his, in his right foot, he has like a little lung. I think, you know, if Rick Stein were to turn to the side, you'd see that his head elongates behind him quite a bit. And that's where a lot of these, uh, like, oh, like the vital organs are going to be. So it's almost like Rick Stein, it's almost, okay, so what it is then is Rick Stein is essentially a snake uh, without arms or legs, and he just has feet like coming out of his neck but he does have like a human torso dragging behind him no I, I, I like i would say like an elongated like skull at the back i know i'm looking at the feet like they're like an like alien fins, skull like a f yeah like that and his those little feet are like fins you know like little flippers he's actually a fish yeah and then on the back of his like big alien head he could have um like a little wheel on a gimbal that could like <laughs> Gonna follow, so he doesn't have to drag it on the floor. Yeah, of course. You don't want to. You don't want to get shit all over that. <laughs> like a tiny little wheelchair just for the back of his head. <laughs> Jesus. Head with feet. <laughs> head with feet. Brilliant. I mean, technically, we're all heads with feet, but there you go. <laughs> Oh, so you're saying oh, I have a lot more as well. But... Exec <laughs> executive producers and have it renamed to Head Just With Feet. Just With Feet? <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, to avoid confusion. <laughs> if you did make a film about that, that, you know, that poster does clearly tell you what's going on there. <laughs> It's going to be harrowing. <laughs> oh, God, it's getting out. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> What's that? Mum's Net presents Kemp and Ramsey, a forbidden love affair. <laughs> and it's Ross Kemp. Um, well, not it's not Ross Kemp, is it? It's Ross Kemp's head put onto uh, a large black man's it's probably body. Like, yeah, he looks probably like Dave Batista or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, with <laughs> Gordon, Gordon Ramsay Ramsey and Kemp up at his feet. Kemp, where? Yeah. Now, you see, I don't know if this is referencing something we've said or. Uh, just from your imagination there, Louis. Crazy person. Um, but, yeah. We really don't talk enough about Ross Kemp. Huh? <laughs> I want to make special uh, mention of the border that he's got on quite a, a few of these now. He's obviously using these really low-quality assets, and in this one, he hasn't made any effort to, like, square it off. I quite, it's, I, I quite like that. It's... It's like, it's like we're looking through an industrial ladder. Yeah. I would... 
Like one of those ladders you can only get one foot on at a time. This, well, I, I make mention of it because it's very low effort. And I think that's <laughs> absolutely fine because... <laughs> We, Relieving uh, we, even. <laughs> we are notoriously low effort with this, and I, I'm, the people are making, they're putting a lot of work into this stuff. It makes me feel bad. But this guy's, he's very much on our he level. I like, I like what, what he's doing here. Well, you say that he's he sent us a, a little video. Did you oh. get it? <laughs> Is there something we can get you instead, Sunny? I'd like a Ritz cracker and salad cream to eat. Well, there's the bread and there's the mayonnaise. <laughs> like a rich cracker. I'll splice that in. Oh. <laughs> would, would you like to explain that? Yes, um, it's from the Waldorf episode of Faulty Towers where they the kid is um, after bread and salad cream for his dinner, but what they've done is they've spliced in my face <laughs> and your voice asking, cutting out the bread and asking for Ritz crackers with salad cream. A favourite of mine in my youth. In my impoverished days. How much? How, I mean, when you say a favourite of yours in youth, do you mean like when you lived with your dad? No, this was back at um, no. back in Acton yeah. when we were yeah. when we had no money. <laughs> yeah, we lived like kings with all those wedding cakes. <laughs> we did, but when they ran out, the only thing left in the cupboard was yeah, Ritz crackers and salad cream. And so the, I, the long I lost taste of diabetes for it. <laughs> oh man, yeah, oh. Br brilliant. Yeah, superb again. Superb. Um, all right. So, I mean, you know, Louis sent us 17 in total and we're only on 11, so I'll keep going. <laughs> this guy's prolific. Uh, all right. So sending you at number 11. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty old man. <laughs> Damien Benedict playing both Steptoe and Son. <laughs> I like how he's aged me up there as well. <laughs> yes. Right. He's, yeah, I know. Right. He's either chosen... Obviously, he's put the, the beard on you, but he's, he's either chosen one where you looked tired or, like, cunningly added uh, some bags under mm. your eyes. Um, okay, I'll send you the next one. You know, it's been so long since I've seen Step to and Sam, I really should watch some of that. <laughs> Brilliant. Bad and pending. <laughs> Individually wrapped potatoes, boil them, mash them, put them in a stew, and I suppose the... <laughs> The, the cherry on the cake is the question mark after put them in a stew. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Brilliant. It's the picture of you at the bottom as well. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's an individually wrapped. The sweat with the pit stains. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't, yeah, see, really it. <laughs> see, I can't work out if it's uh, if it's lazy or genius uh, to use the same potato three times. <laughs> I think, no, it's genius. I, I don't think his artistic artistic integrity should be in question here. He's Maybe there's only goods. one potato available. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Blinky Jones. <sighs> God, it's been a while since we talked about Inky Jones. Uh, yeah. I, I, last time we brought him up, we brought him up maybe last episode or the one before that, and I completely oh, forgotten about this turd. 
Yeah, I mean, I think we mentioned him ages ago, and I didn't name him. Um, I don't know why I'd sort of bother trying to protect him, but um, people people worked it out anyway. Mm. Oh, it's Inky Jones. And I was like, really? God, I wouldn't have thought he was like so well known. Mm. But um, but I guess he was. Yeah. Jesus, yeah. Fuck yeah, you want to you want a fun fun read? Try and find the old article about uh, Inky Jones, written on something like um, Chortle or something like twenty years ago. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Um, man, doesn't being a like a jobbing stand-up comic sound shit? Yeah, it must be a miserable life. It, yeah. Oh, didn't your mum used to go out with one? Yeah, yeah. It was, and it looked like it was a fucking it was a tough life. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know anything about it. Like, was he... I mean, he was a... He that was his job, wasn't it? He was yeah, successful. Yeah, yeah, No, yeah. For, for a while, he, he was doing really, really well. Um, mm. Good enough TV work and everything. But what, what was that to do with... Yeah, I, I, I understand. But was that to do with the job, or was that just who he was? Um, I didn't know him well enough. I would say yeah. a lot to do with the job, and definitely the lifestyle. Sure. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure yeah. it sends a lot of people to madness, particularly if you're not, you know, yeah, a lot of drugs. And if you're not successful, it, yeah, it, I'm sure it just makes you just go absolutely haywire. Yeah, I mean, how long had he been? I don't know why I'm even asking you, well, like, you know, but like, had he been doing it for long before he became successful? I don't know. Okay, um, fair enough. He would have been, what, in his 30s? He'd probably been doing it for like 10 years. Oh, right, okay. All right, next one. Unless you got more to say about that. No, 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 no. I, I don't know enough about the guy to make an interesting story about it. This one is brilliant. <laughs> mau mau. Mau mau. Sorry, boss. <laughs> yeah, you see, I always imagined Mau Mau as having, like, um... I don't know, like, well, I suppose Peter Lorre, like, really yeah. kind of, like, tight Hitler hair almost. But now that I've seen that... <laughs> yeah, it's not what <laughs> I imagined. I, I, the picture I, I would have of Mao in my head, but, yeah. <laughs> I do like... I like this interpretation for sure. I like this interpretation, sure. This it looks much like he's... dirtier, though. This yes. Mao the pervert, for sure. No, it's almost like he's under deep cover at, like, Epstein Island or something. <laughs> it's a much dirtier interpretation. What, because of the hair and my face there? It's, yeah. I would say, yeah, the moustache and the fit of those jeans. <laughs> and, I don't know, the And the pose. sweaty, <laughs> yeah, the pose and the... Yeah, I mean, I'm really interested someone the same, with my eyes there, aren't I? The same face from the potato one as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my face, sir. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, those hands have seen some stuff, haven't they? You can tell. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They've been places they those, shouldn't have been. Those bummy fingers. <laughs> Thanks for bringing that back. George and Damien go solitary rambling with the solitary rambler. <laughs> and, and, well done. I like, I like the way that you're not dressed in hiking gear at all. No, it's all. <laughs> you look like you've just come out of an office. <laughs> and uh, it's like a 10 hour episode, and all that is said is the solitary rambler saying, shut up. <laughs> I oh, love man. how out of place I look there. <laughs> Gosh, yeah. you look like you were just about to take the piss, take a piss, but we were we stuck up behind you way too quickly, and we're not giving you your personal space. <laughs> yeah, so and and now it's gone from like, oh, I don't, you know, I'll just take this opportunity to have a quick piss. Don't really need one, but I'll take the opportunity to like. Now I've had to cut it off, and I really, really need. <laughs> Hi <a> guys, <laughs> Alpha. <laughs> 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 Brilliant. Okay. Le Louis Phillips 16. <laughs> I want more potato face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, brutal. What was that? Uh, 
don't know. Uh, it sounded like a, a printer turning on. Yeah, something's going on there. I just thought it's the guy I've been into interrupted. So it's like P Peter Kay has wanted to remake Peter Gabriel's Sledgehammer <laughs> using the exact same props, but but he's actually quite a bit fatter than Peter Gabriel. <laughs> so every time that train goes around his head, he's he's at risk of losing an ear. <laughs> I mean, it looks like he's losing a portion of his head there. A lot of the heads, uh, the hair's been shaved for sure. <laughs> he's just some, he has this weird rounded edge to his head at the top there. Catch me, Jerry! Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Garlic bread hammer. Peter Gabriel. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one from Louis. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a. Uh... <laughs> we got it's, more potato face in there. Thank you, Louis. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a poster f for boss, <clears throat> but the <clears throat> has been changed to juice. <laughs> boss juice. White man ta white man's town, black man's law, and OJ looks so happy. <laughs> yeah, he's chuffed. <laughs> we know this. Yeah, and again through the um, the development of AI, you know, eventually we we could go back to Boss and digitally put both OJ as Boss and um, Carlton as Carlton. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what we can look forward to next time. We will, you know, we'll be do the call to arms for fan art. We should ask for a, a good portion of it to be generated by Chat. Was it Chat GPT for the? The uh, the visual stuff. There's a, there's a few of the AI, these AI open AIs now. Do you know any mm -hmm. of the names? There's a specific one people use them for images. Um, I I mean, like you said, there's quite a few. I, yeah, I think Chat GPT does generate yeah. images. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's not important. But yeah. Um, AI they call him boss, <laughs> boss juicy, juicy, juicy Hudson. Uh, I like yeah. the fat women. <laughs> oh dear. Very good. Okay, so we've only got three more. This one's from uh, Tuomas Putkonen. Tuomas Putkonen. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right there. All right. Ready for this? Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need I need help with this one. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Can, Can I Uber here? <laughs> Snakey, wakey. Snakey. <laughs> um. Well, it's ob it's obviously you, a chef. Yes, I see that. And you're hoovering around. Yeah. And you you look mental. <laughs> I, I don't know what else you want. <laughs> and this. It is clearly okay. Yeah, so I, I can see that you're you're sitting on a mattress. Oh no! I don't, some... Yeah, this is just like the, my my room back at, back at the old man's house. Yes, that's <laughs> right. Because you just woke up in your onesie pajamas and chef's hat, which you sleep in, uh, next to your loom. That's not me. I just think that's my father. <laughs> I think it's you. <laughs> well, it's the hand cream, the tissues on the bed. <laughs> nice touch, guy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Yes. That's a... And I assume, assume all your wank socks on the floor. <laughs> that uh, is, uh, you... Yeah, wank socks for sure. It looks, one looks like an empty tube of lube of some description. Devil's in the details yes. for sure. Yep. And then the lady in the front, I think that's your dad. Like it's the back of a lady's head with a bun. Oh god! Okay. All right, now there we go. Yes. Yeah, you see, see it? it now. Yeah, like uh, a maid. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> yeah, the eyes are especially haunting. Yep. <laughs> I'm all caught up yes. with that one now. 
Well, that's, yeah. and that's you've got the Damien's room there. <laughs> yeah, because you obviously have a sign on your room door that says Damien's room. Obviously, keep out naturally. Yeah, keep out wanking. <laughs> Brilliant. All right. Um, so that was from uh, Tuomas Putkonen, and next we've got one from Wen Chen. <laughs> It's brilliant. Yeah, it is. There wouldn't be a parental advisory sticker on that. Our lyrics are family friendly. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, this was brilliant. I'd seen this one before. Um, oh, this yeah? Girl, yeah, um, this person got in touch with me a while back um, and uh, and said this to me. I was waiting for us to do this stuff. I was going to pass it on, but clearly, yeah, pass it on to you as well. Yeah. Well, yes, I mean, they, I'm looking at the date. They sent it. To me like three years ago wow look at all yes so obviously the next episode of this will do in 2027 <laughs> um, man i'm rocking that um neon green yeah well we need pimp cars. there's nothing for it Furs all the way well, i don't I need to put my head in a bowling ball shiner as well <laughs> No, I you see. I look like a pimp. You look more like someone who's like bringing smelling salts up to your nose because you've had to deal with the pores. <laughs> oh goodness! Ooh. I mean, it's all over my face. Yeah, <laughs> and like the ermine fluff by you, brilliant. Yeah, ketchup and mustard. But wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait! I'm mustard though. I should be on the right. <laughs> I didn't Did we ever we, decide? We, I think I, we both wanted remember. to be mustard, didn't we? Yeah, mustard's much better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like like when we would argue about the robots in Portal 2. Oh, yes. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And we both wanted to be the like actual round one yeah. and not the... Because Atlas was tits. Right? No, no one liked Peabody. He sucked. D really? No one liked him? No, I mean, the, Atlas was the round one that we were fighting on, but Peabody was, was rubbish. I don't know if anyone outside of us didn't like him, but I know we didn't. It's not that we didn't like him, I didn't... Well, maybe you're right. No. But do you remember what we would call them? Well, we called him either Russell or Sean. <laughs> we called Peabody Sean, and we called Atlas Z. <laughs> and cause I, I've never... I don't think I've ever actually heard their names until just now. Um... Like, that's exclusively what we would call them. Like, who's going to yeah, get to play as Z? Play Z. It's the only time that Z was, a, you know, c coveted. <laughs> Just because no one wanted to play as Sean. <laughs> <laughs> like, the way we just decided, like, yeah, they that Peabody, yeah, he looks like Sean. Looks nothing like Sean. <laughs> he was just Obviously. Gambling. Kind of. I mean, Sh Sean's like our height, isn't he? At least what I, I remember him being taller than me. Well, I remember when I, when I first went to that school, I like tall. Uh, Sean was like seven feet tall, and then he kind of shrank. Mm. No, we always kind of remained really, like bean polish. I suppose so. Um, all right, and then I guess you might have seen the next one then. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's obviously the back of the, <laughs> the the back of the album there. Um, yeah, nice. So uh, <laughs> our songs was include Beans on Feet, Crystal Flush Bucket, Fraser Peanut, Carlton's <laughs> Labyrinth. I get, that's like a slow one, right? You know, you can't really dance to that one. Man on Two Dwarfs. <laughs> you got all the hits. <laughs> Ritz Crackers and Salad Cream. Jack the Rat, <laughs> Mental Degradation, and the Futility <laughs> of Existence. <laughs> it, doesn't, it shows our progression, our, our, our artistic progression as well. I think after, you know, we have an inevitable incident and the label kicks us off and we can't <laughs> use the ketchup and mustard name anymore, we should, we should reform and our band name, I mean band, it's just going to be me and you, should be called The Ritz Crackers. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the, yeah, that's the next podcast for sure. <laughs> yeah, the Ritz Crackers, yeah. The... <laughs> God. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, so um, the last thing is uh, the Harry Galt song. Do you want me to send you the link to that? Yes, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, uh, I mean, we can't really listen to all of this because it's 36 minutes long. Yeah, I was about to say. What's going on here? <laughs> Lunacy. Ready? Uh, yep. You know, I want the Beans Manifesto. If okay. we're going to talk mental. That would be the best fan art ever. As you wish. As you wish. As you wish. That's so unlike on Earth, Frank Zappa. Highly experimental. More advanced conditions of European civilization, and with a much more is on the map. That is bound to be carried Special out under the leg or turn to their different Wow. <laughs> with their conditions of the last country again are unavoidable. Wow, I am actually impressed. All, all yeah, so 30, 36 minutes of this. Further inroads <laughs> upon the past. <laughs> I'm I just skipped to 31 minutes. I'm still waiting for it to drop. Really? Oh god, it's the same all the way through. Yes. Yes. Ask for its help and thus to drag it. It's mixed really well, yeah. I presume that's everything he's recited. And all times with the seeds of all. Hang on, let me just listen to the end again. With all those portions of the feed itself, we're going to talk mentors. In the course of the development of the legume, the petty feed finds altogether collisions between the asses. I raised the leg to the position of the ruling ass. Thus, the ten hours. Please send it to your congressman. <laughs> As the prime condition to national feet objections, party which in Poland they support the I'm just looking at the property relations. No wonder what that it's wow, the never-ending text. The yeah, man. It's a real manifesto. <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I want beans, the beans of all countries unite. <laughs> the beans manifesto, as you wish. <laughs> well, thanks so much for that, Harry. That was uh, that was crazy, but I I assume you know that. Um, That's, that was absolutely mental. But the good tags, beans, like you want. legumacy, spoken word. Belchcore, <laughs> fartcore, <laughs> screeching dipshittery. It wasn't screeching, it was pretty listenable actually. Yeah. Um, testicle thrash. Uh, brilliant. Well, that's all of them. Well, thank you, everyone. That's. There, they were fucking blinding. Yeah, and um, well, with the with Harry's song, I'll, I'll link that, and uh, uh, like I say, eventually I'll put all this stuff on the website, all the pictures, uh, I, I, unless anyone has any objections, I suppose. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I'm leaving through them again. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Well done. Um, yeah, I, I don't know which my favourite is. Um, I think that maybe the Louis Phillips two one with the no not the not Louis Phillips two the one where you're crawling out of the mattress fort that, that got me. Yeah, that's a strong one for sure. Yeah, that's a strong one. Um, yeah, well, terrific stuff. <laughs> yeah, got anything else yeah. to say do, to that? No, I mean, do you, do you have anything you want to do next time when we do this podcast again in seven months? Well, ask me in about five months. I'm sure I'll have generated at least one idea by then. And then I'll say something, and then neither of us will watch it until that day. Yep, that's what we do. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't actually finish it, so I can't possibly comment. <laughs> Check in next time. Where we finally watched the last thing we said we'd talk about. 
Well, uh, you know, we could always break out Woody Woodpecker. Oh, we could. But I don't want to commit yep. to commit to Woody P- Woodpecker just yet. It's on the, you know, let's tease him with that for now. Sinjinor? I mean, I don't think I could even do that. I couldn't watch Sinjinor again. I, we, I would say, I would urge people to, like, pursue it and experience it themselves, but what the fuck do you do with that? <laughs> yeah, I... I don't think I would. I mean, we we've tried to watch it at least at least five times, maybe mm-hmm. ten times. I don't sure. think we finished it, did we? Not in a single sitting. I no. I mean, we, we've definitely like it's definitely played to the end. Yeah, we just pass out. <laughs> it's like so boring. <laughs> it's like a cheap alternative to anaesthetic. I mean, it has some bonkers stuff in it for sure, but I mean, it's in between. You know, around that, it's just. So much, well, like non movie. It's just, you yeah. can't watch it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's why it was 50p. Yep. And it will still be 50p to this day. Inflation's got nothing on Sinjinor. <laughs> like, there's a guy like pricing it, and it's like, 70p. No one will buy it for 70p. 50p. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, well, I guess we're done. Thanks so much to everyone for all of that, and um, we'll be back again soonish, I suppose. Indeed. All right. Ta da. Ta da. Cheers. Bye bye.